And that breaking news from City Heights where a high speed chase just ended in dramatic fashion, totaling a patrol car and hurting an innocent driver. Photojournalist Paul Anderegg is live at the 10 News breaking news tracker. Paul, this looks like a bad one. Yeah, you can see the damage to that patrol car. This all started uh, out in the Lemon Grove area where uh, Sheriff's Department responded to a uh, possible restraining order violation. When they got on scene, they started chasing that car. We'll show you some video of what that chase looked like. It uh, came down Federal, got on the westbound 94, uh, then eventually came up Euclid and came through uh, City Heights. And that's where a crash took place, the intersection of Euclid and University. That's where uh, one of those deputies that was in pursuit hit, uh, almost T-boned a small car in the intersection, sent it spinning out of control almost crashing through the windows of a uh, of a uh, restaurant right here along Euclid and University. Now that suspect continued on. He was uh, found on Miracle Drive about a mile from the crash scene. Um, he was checked out by paramedics. He was uh, first tased at that original location before he jumped in that uh, car. Uh, the deputy's okay. The other person in the crash is okay. We're going to stay on scene, bring more updates on 10 News this morning. Back to you. Hey, Paul, because we saw so many of the lights and sirens with those different units, they weren't even all sheriff's deputies. It looked like there were police involved in various things. Do you know exactly how this happened, that that other car was in the intersection? Did someone not see the lights? Was uh, it a red light? Do you know anything about how it happened? Well, this uh, deputy apparently wasn't one of the ones that was directly behind that suspect. It was one of the additional units racing to catch up. That suspect was doing about 80 miles an hour, so uh, they may have been a little bit behind. And uh, as you can see, there's buildings here blocking your view, so that car probably just didn't see him to the last moment. And you're saying that both the driver, uh, the deputy, as well as the person in the other car, minor injuries? Because that's, that's great, looking at the car. Oh, yeah, they were checked out at scene. You can just see it's pretty amazing when you look at the damage that was done to that car. Thank God that that uh, suspect who was doing around 80 miles an hour wasn't the one that crashed into that uh, innocent uh, civilian vehicle. All right, thank you, Paul, for the update. We know you'll stay out there and get the details.